as I was, and still am, cognizant of my uselessness. My sister would play mama bear when my parents were working. My younger brother eventually grew tall enough and strong enough to be able to help from a physical standpoint. And then there was me. I had no real role aside from loving Beth fiercely and writing little notes and telling stupid jokes to try to lighten the mood around the house. So me standing in front of the class and saying my brother was autistic was, I think, <coughs> me trying to be an advocate. It was a sort of declaration of love and loyalty. And I guess me doing this walk every year is really just an extension of that. Because Fuss is incredible. He's just an absolutely incredible human. He is deeply intelligent and deeply, deeply loving. And you can see that he has so much happening behind those handsome hazel eyes of his. And it just seems so unfair that he has no way of expressing it and that his life has been so hard, especially considering all that he's given to everyone around him, teaching all of us countless life lessons like patience, empathy, gratitude, and that my mom can be sweet talked out of Tic Tacs with a smile. <laughs> I don't want to know the person I'd be if thefts hadn't shaped my life. And I just wish there was more I could do to make things better for him. I randomly stumbled upon the Autism Speaks Walk in Santa Barbara in 2011, just before the walk was about to take place. And I raised 1,500 bucks in a week and drove up to Santa Barbara, realizing I was about to go walk by myself and feeling a little dumb about it. I managed to talk my sister into walking with me. And then my family joined the next couple of years. And then I discovered that the LA Walk takes place around my birthday each year. And that's when the Beth fan club really came to full shape. Uh, I used its close proximity to my birthday as emotional bribery to get my friends to show up. And they completely pulled me over with their love and support. And every year, they have become more and more involved. And each year, our team has raised more money than the year before. The last year, we raised over $16,000, so that might feel like The best part of all of it is seeing best with my friends. The severity of his autism makes it tough to include him in everything I want to include him in, which is everything. He is so important to me and such a huge part of my life. <laughs> and me courting him in this walk, only a handful of my friends had even ever met him. That first year, I was worried it might be too overstimulating for him, but he did so good. It wasn't a complete cave walk, but he did so good. And the expression on his face when he sees all of us there in Nashville t-shirts with his initial on it was the best birthday gift a girl could ever ask for. So, long story long, that's why I walk uh, to forward progress in autism advocacy and research and to let us know that I care and to celebrate him for all that he is and all that he's given.